लोकेश गोपिकाधे तत्कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विशुधान सुते देवी ब्रह्मा प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतराधार शिवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अथनित्यमित्यम वेह शोचंती तद नान्यथा शक्य कर्तुम स्वभाव स्वचिता those who have full knowledge of self realization who know very well that the spirit soul is eternal whereas the body is perishable are not overwhelmed by the limitation but uh, persons who lack knowledge of self realization certainly lament therefore it is difficult to educate person in illusion
existence which is eternal. Brahmali, they have merged into the existence of the Absolute Truth. Shrimad Bhagavatam denies that. It says, Aruya Krishna Parma Padam Tata Padam Tiyada Anadat Yushmadam Draya. Anadat means they are uh, so carefully uh, neglecting the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. Means the personal aspect is completely obscured from them. So, however, uh, a demon may quote Yamaraj, but he is completely um, uh, under illusion himself of his reality and real nature. Therefore, uh, even a demon can quote, can give temporary soothing, but it will never satisfy the soul. Yayatma Supresidati can be only be quenched by serving the Supreme Lord or by glorifying Otherwise, this kind of talks are going on and on and on. The whole world is filled with impersonalism. We eventually misbehave with one another, even though we are the greatest of friends. But it, when it comes to some kind of selfishness, we try to become, you know, impersonal with that apart. Everybody has that cheating propensity which is very, very deep down ingrained because of this enviousness. When enviousness is removed, then one can be best situated in the intricate, uh, uh, most confidential knowledge of the absolute truth that is not available even to the impersonalist. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Idam tu te kudhyatamam pravakshyami anasuryade jnana vidyana saitam yad gyapa moksha shesubhat. I am telling you the most confidential knowledge. He already described Raja Vidya Raja Gudhyam Pavitram Ida Muttama. It is the king of knowledge, but it is the most confidential. And Prabhupada tells that there are three types of confidentialities. One is confidential, another is more confidential, but the most confidential, Guhyatamam. Idaputi Guhyatamam Prabhupada Yana So, the category of uh, the most confidential knowledge will be revealed only one become, uh, if, we, if one becomes uh, non envious of the Lord and cultivate that non enviousness uh, between the favorite devotees. Why the devotees in Sankirtan movement uh, and their association is more important than? Anything else. Even if we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra um, uh, at home, uh, if we don't get along with anybody, we say, oh, okay, we can do at home. What's the big deal? Uh, why it is so much important? The association of the devotees. And we select out the association of the devotees who are confidential or trying to cultivate some confidentiality in devotional service. Those who are introspective, those who are rather uh, more leaning towards Krishna consciousness than anything else. However, what about that position? Who cares? But this is the, the fact and that because he is interested in the most confidential knowledge of Bhagavad This is Krishna's desire that uh, the jiva becomes his devotee. Uh, 
because this is the most confidential knowledge. And it is revealed to those who are uh, to, to Arjun because he was not envious. Then it says, Bhakto si sakhachi tirahasyam hetaduttamam. I am telling you because you are not connected with me as a uh, friend, Sakha. Sakha means um, equal in the age. Uh, in those who are, say, um, <coughs> equal in age and uh, having some kind of equal mentality. They are called sakhas. So that is a relationship according to the physical nature. So bhakti, you are devotee, means you are not envious. Therefore, I am revealing the most confidential moment to you about the devotions. But a demon would not be able to go further than so-called self-realization. Which many, many people in different ways can also come. Shri Prabhupada quotes about the, the uh, uh, basically two times that Sankhya philosophers and uh, Mimansa philosophers. Uh, Karma Mimansa was introduced by Jaimini. He was a student of Gasly. And Sankhya by Kapil. Right? Now, Jaimini is an impersonalist. Jaimini is an impersonalist. Gasly, even though he is the incarnation of the soul, but as far as knowledge is concerned, uh, Jaimini, she was uh, only dealing with the karmic aspect, with the physical aspects, not the emotional aspect. So, Karma Vimansa was written by him. Uh, uh, and the karma means impel us to indulge in the activity of the working of the nature. It's called karma. To indulge uh, one's desire. Otherwise, material nature is acting under the uh, superintendence of Roshi Krishna takes all the claim that without me being the cause, there is no other cause for why this material nature acting in this way. Hmm? So, material nature, Krishna's energy uh, manifested and it works right before our uh, eyes. There is no kind of weak thing mm -hmm. due to the ignorance of reality that we think we are the doers. Prakritiya kriya mahani guni karmani sarvasha ahankara vimulhatma karmani vimamiti. Jainari Rishi does not tell us uh, about uh, the, our ahankara, what is our ahankara development. He talks directly about the action reactions in complicated ways. Uh, so, even by the Karmi Mansa, one can come, you know, to uh, a conclusion of so-called self-realization. Uh, and uh, Sankhya philosophy where an analytical study of the material nature by uh, analysis means to break down, hmm? to break down uh, the elements and elemental aspect and how they end. the uh, that is called Sankhya philosophy. They separate out the Atma Tattva and the material. So. Both are uh, acknowledged by demons because they deal with material nature. One another analytically, another on the action and reaction basis. You know, so 
Karmamimansa and uh, uh, Sankhya, they have very different uh, opinion coming to that. Uh, one says, um, the, uh, the Mimansa, they say uh, that everything is eternal. Uh, everything, because as the action is there, opposite reaction is there. And there is nothing in between uh, as a residual thing, nothing between. The energy preservation law, what they call it in uh, physics, energy can neither be created nor can be destroyed, it simply can be transformed. So whatever is there is self-maintained. That is one of the nature of the prakriti of nature. But uh, the element of Atma Tattva uh, will be obscured for those who are Karma Mimas. Therefore, uh, the impersonalist and uh, the, the Mithya means um, uh, negativist, negationist. Uh, mithya means completely rejecting. It is not there. You come to the conclusion that it was simply an illusion. The real thing has missed out. That is Atmatha. So these two people, they think one is uh, the, the material nature, uh, everything is eternal, Nitya, and Sankhya philosophers, for them everything is Nitya or Anitya or impermanent. Because it's changed, transformed. So, uh, the real knowledge of Atma is not revealed there. Only devotees have full access to the intricate part of the hand. Uh, and uh, um, these philosophers uh, are believed when they try to you know, look into the subject matter of Atma Tattva. Mm. But they keep on lamenting because they do not know the secret of uh, realization on the basis of Atma, uh, the nature of the Atma. So they keep on continuing to lament as shudras. So, even though we know it, by theoretical knowledge, yet, we lament. Sometimes it sounds like hypocritic, but uh, uh, the fact is that the lamentation is due to ignorance. So, uh, those who keep on lamenting, uh, say for time being, and others uh, keep on lamenting for a long time, it's only a matter within the time framework of material nature. What's the big deal? One laments for little, another laments for longer time. Um, one has a great hope of deliverance very quickly, another would take a long time. So this attachment uh, in lamentation uh, has to be eradicated. But only the devotees know that it is too difficult to remove the attachment, become detached. Rather, uh, transform the attachment, keep the attachment, but change the subject matter. Uh, if we want to become detached from material nature and our attachment and anger is that rather transformed to Krishna conscious activities uh, or Krishna uh, directly. So this attachment uh, is important. So naturally attachment to the devotees is becoming an important fact, the most important fact. Come hell or high water, just stick to it. 
the association of the devotees. Never give up uh, the association of the devotees. Actually, uh, when when one thinks that he can do uh, the Krishna conscious activity by himself alone, it's all a timing situation. Actually, he is uh, gasping for relief, uh, but he doesn't understand because of false ego. So, attachment to the association of the devotees uh, is a positive aspect always that we may get an opportunity to come in contact with more confidential and most confidential uh, relations of the bhakti Otherwise, we will become interested in off-line subject matters. And they are called Srutta Vyadi Virajindra Ram Santi Shastra Shru Apashyatama Patar Kankurai Sugrahmi they will create many other subordinary uh, subjects, not the main subject. So, therefore, the religious system can also be proliferating in, in uh, the aspects of uh, sub-religious principles, not the main. But Sri Prabhupada brought this main principle of pure devotional service. He was not interested in sub-religious principles at all. So he was not even associated with some other religions. He says it's simply based on time. And we see uh, that we should also come to it, that kind of uh, understanding and behavior that we should associate with the devotees who are advanced and uh, those who want to uh, really help to boost our Krishna consciousness and encourage us and to uh, more and more um, uh, revelations of Bhakti Tattva. So, uh, this is an important subject matter and that has been spoken by Hiran Kashipu. Even uh, um, citation of Yamaraj is a pure devotee. So many a times we feel that everything is all right. Uh, now they are trying to glorify the Ravana Tattva, uh, the demon, by making his series of television. <laughs> Ram. Hmm. And uh, what a glorious pastime. Because people need, you know, all these three modes of material nature working. So, for the demigod life, they make so many series. Right? Now they are running out of subject matter, let's take Ram. Hmm. But it is too undistinguishable in, in this film industry. Uh, where is Bhakti that? You know, it is simply a show of superficial uh, situation. Religiosity didn't work to uplift the mankind. Uh, so now the demoniac nature is going to be um, proselytized in this way. Demonian nature becomes more and more prominent as an example. And after all, Ram was not that there. Oh, you know, this is the kind of uh, situation. Never you know, As if uh, they want to come and conclude that where it was destined. Everything is meant to be destined, but not under your uh, desire. Destination is the Krishna's desire, and He has His plan. 
But then, if we had the liberty to become envious in the first place, why can't we exercise the non-enviousness to be our desire? So, this is still uh, our indulgence in favor of Krishna. It is voluntary, but it depends upon how much uh, do we understand about this fact. Uh, otherwise, we have to keep on training on so-called sub-religious aspects. So, Sukadeva Goswami says, for those matters which are, uh, you know, going to be entangling us more and more into uh, the materialistic, <coughs> even materialistic piety, materialistic religiosities. Uh, when Atma Tattva, Avashyata, Atma Tattva, Gravesu, Gravesu, they will be all <coughs> classified into the material sense verifiers, the medical sense verifiers. A devotee can be only classified on the basis of his non enviousness to Krishna and he is disinterested into the sub religious aspects. And that's what uh, Sri Prabhupada brought it. Uh, as International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So this is the main situation that we should always keep it in mind. We can't forget the main purpose. Otherwise, many many devotees are looking into saying, oh, there is a paradigm shift. Oh, there is a here, this idea and that idea. Where does Prabhupada say this, there, there? Everything will be coming. And it will be a subject matter of quibbling for a long, long time and wasting time. And uh, our main goal here, uh, we can't overlook it, can't uh, give it as a subsidiary or secondary uh, motion. It's the most primary uh, requirement in the life of a devotee. We can't trade Shura Prabhupada's idea of work, you know, with anything else. Yeah. Maharaj, thank you so much. Very succinct, very clear and pure. Thank you so much. This, thank you. And one comment and question comment. It's um, when you said most confidential, first confidential, most confidential, and then what was very most most confidential. So even Lord Jesus Christ told, he said, I have so many things to tell you that you're not ready yes, to right. And that was because of the enviousness, I think. Right. But this is, uh, uh, these are the instructions of Sri Prabhupada, and he, he says, he puts so much weight on the association of devotees. Sankirtan movement. Sankirtan means uh, not alone. Uh, not alone. Even we become alone or lonely uh, when we acquire some power, position, uh, I know, anything, some kind, a prestige, a kind of subtle situation. We become really lonely by accepting those situations. And we are so much uh, getting engrossed into uh, those things that in case it is taken away from us, then uh, the real demons are coming up and exposing those things. Uh, and they are all residing in us. All the thoughts, see as for example here, 
The word which has been used is also very much important. That um, they keep on talking simply. They express, you know, they. Uh, Then, then give the opinion. Otherwise, how could Hiruna Kashipu would give this opinion? He was knowledgeable. And he uses at the time, uh, he got an opportunity to explain it uh, to, the, uh, uh, to his brother's wife. And then he gives uh, uh, parallel examples. About the Atma but he doesn't talk of real discrepancy and that is uh, he is having. He will say, okay, everything is all right, I know. Uh, uh, then Vishnu is uh, the Supreme, but because he took the side of then he does. And for that pleasure, he killed my brother, therefore he is my enemy. He came to erroneous conclusion. So, Maya is bewildering at such an extent. Means Maya is ignorance. Ignorance of the reality. So, Unless and until we stop enviousness to Lord Krishna and his desire. Uh, so colorly to uh, uh, fellow devotees. There's no chance of progress. And Prabhupada would simply request, if you love me, then please try to call. And these are simple words, but they are not superficial. Mm. They show the absolute truth, and, and we have to come to uh, appreciate it and uh, exercise it. So this is the whole idea. It's so simple. So the Pyati Virajindra Naram Santi Sarasasha Apashitam Akmatatma Kreshu Ghramidina. Those who are materially engrossed, being blind to the knowledge of the ultimate truth, have many subjects for hearing the human society. Yeah. O oh, Emperor. So, the devotees are devotees by the virtues of pure devotional service. So thank you very much. Any other comments, um, questions? Yes. All right. So Prabhupada concludes the purport with the word vow. He says about keeping the vow. Could you explain that a little bit? Vow? Vow? No, vows. Vows, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, one must therefore be educated in self realization so that under any circumstances in life he will remain steady in his vows. These vows are to be expressed both in mind, words, and action. Uh, our existence in totality is that we are expressing in three ways. Manasana chakra. Ihar esi haritasi. Manasana karmana gira. Nikhilapi avasthasu jiva muktasya ujjate. The real realization means the liberation from all 
this entanglement will come when, while performing devotional service to the Supreme Lord within mind, through the words and the actions, manasa, karmana, gira. Nikhilapiya vasthasu, as long as belief exists, uh, it will be Jivamukta. Liberated in self same body. Now, these vows that uh, we have been given, uh, we may think, oh, just following four regular principles and chanting 16 and it's not a big deal. But actually, it is the big deal. Everything is in there. And how are we expressing it? Within mind, words, and activities. So how much truthful to those vows we are within the mind, within the words, and within activities. And these vows, I mean, there is a very interesting conversation that has been going on on the internet about it. Mahatma Prabhu, you know, stirred up this question, if anybody is on that uh, our Pango network. Mm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and what does it mean to take vows? Why would it uh, be initiated or uh, but this is the entire committee and especially, especially the vows of austerity. We think it is physical austerity no mental austerity, yeah. not even uh, verbal austerity. We can't talk loose about the vows. Our three regulated principles are good enough, you know, after a who is doing that? <laughs> so, anyway, these are the situations that the development of uh, Krishna consciousness must be there. That's why Shri Prabhupada established the society. So, these are more important that we have to always think, contemplate, and read. Arupa Swami has said about this one. Eta mahamu e kare shte venu yuva. But shoti gadanta no vandu no vi. Then also he says, Sthanishtika, shte venu yuva, in whichever ashram or varana you are in, whatever occupation you are doing, become uh, not steady or attached. No. Exist. Don't try to give up artificial, stay wherever you are, but be conversant with the verdict of Shruti Gata. How? Tanu, Vang, Manomi. Tanu means body, Vang means vacha, and Manomi, by mind. Krishna says that if out of these three, if we are not observing in one, which is contradictory to the other two, then we are hypocrites. Mithya Chara Sauchyate. Sorry, I think that, uh, I think the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna reveals that to Arjuna. Uh, and Kamasanyas, uh, you know, and, uh, 
and show the Krishna consciousness. It says that those who are artificially rejecting outside but he is contemplating within the mind is a hypocrite. About the sense of particular aspects. You know? It is hankers hand, within the mind. Whatever is in the mind is going to manifest. That's how Brahma also conceived. He manifested from his mind the initial aspect. It's very interesting that we were this other day reading from 10th Canto, 89th chapter. Krishna's glories are uh, being described. And um, there are beautiful descriptions showing that uh, even Brahma, who was born in darkness of ignorance, uh, when he was enlightened by Krishna, uh, he became enlightened, but he had a shadow because he got the material body. So he got a shadow. Now, he didn't like the shadow. Now, because the shadow is material ignorance and both the living entities occupy those shadows. And because they got the dense darkness of ignorance, The shadow created a sense of hunger and thirst. Now, sense of hunger and thirst. And these living entities, out of their ignorance, started calling out. Now, when we eat, sense of hunger and thirst created stomach. So he said, what do we eat? They didn't say anybody except Brahma. Let's eat him, kill him. Huh? This living entity is to kill him. Huh? Because they won't eat. So Brahma called them Yakshas. And the others said, don't spare me, please kill him. They were called Rakshas. So Rakshasas were born, Yakshas and Rakshasas were born out of that dense darkness of ignorance, the shadow. And these entities are manifested. Brahma had to interfere. He said, I am your father, how could you kill me? I have created you, you die, hate you. So that's how the origin of separation between the demigods and demons, uh, the actions and actions, they were there. Then Brahma has to meditate more to counteract this. So out of that good meditation and mental conception, he created uh, Nada. All the Sattashis, Chatushumar, all kinds of stuff. Through mental conception, whatever is in the mind manifests. And uh, similarly, whatever in the common mind is also manifested. And Krishna gives very good seed of analogy, Dhyayato Vishayas, Punsa, Sangastisha, by contemplating the objects of sense gratification in the mind, one desires to associate with the Sangas and Jayate Kama, Kama, Kutomi the same ignorance and different levels, different degrees of ignorance will be searching out into Kama, Kutomi and more. Prodhata Bhavati Sambhu. 
Samoa Smriti Vikrama. Whatever knowledge of our previous life about the Smriti of the reality, again will be situation we may be facing, they are temporary, uh, but we cannot cast it down as unreal. Uh, we must overcome it, and the help of the Lord Krishna, everything uh, will become auspicious. This will be able to remove the demons from our own mind. It's a very nice exercise. 